Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. So, the OG SOS family members who've been around since like last year, okay, since last year, you guys know how much I've been talking about just, just the changes and upgrades and what I want to do with this channel. Let me just tell you, uh, it's coming soon, it's coming soon, I'm so freaking excited, like, I, I'm putting my entire life into this, I'm putting my life into this and right after this video I'm going to sit my ass on that bed with my laptop and I'm going to refresh that Best Buy page every freaking hour I don't even care I'm just gonna keep pressing refresh 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 until I get that sale that I'm going for and oh my gosh it just feels so good to finally to finally start seeing some progress and I thank you guys, I thank you guys, thank you. By the way, for those of you guys who may think I just wear this hat for the videos, no. When it's summertime and not windy, I legit wear this hat outside. I even wear this hat outside in some of my videos. Even one of my friends was like, yo Simon, do you actually wear that big ass straw hat outside in public? I'm like, yeah, because I don't care what anyone thinks. As a matter of fact, people actually like this hat. Let me tell you a quick little story that happened to me the other day. So after my son's dedication, me and my mom went to the grocery store by my place, okay, by my place in Toronto. And I'm there standing in line. And let's, let's look at this coincidence, it's crazy. So my mom, I'm standing in line for my mom because the line is so long. So she's going to go pick up a few groceries, like a few things while I'm standing in line and she was going to go pick up some oil, some vegetable oil and a guy goes up to her, was had the last oil and then gave her the oil, right? So then when they were both going back to the line, my mom found me and then the guy started looking at me like, so I'm like, So then he's walking closer to me and he's just like, are you, are you on YouTube? Are you on YouTube? So I'm like, yeah, man, strength over size, strength over size on YouTube. So then he's like, no way, you, I watch your videos. Oh shit, you, that's crazy. I never would have expected to see you here. I swear I thought you lived in the States, bro. Like, I just found that entire situation so funny and cool. I was like, holy shit, people actually recognize me in real life now. So, yo, Aquila, I gave you my number, bro. You didn't even text me. So, text me if you really want to keep that number. I don't even know what your number is, bruh. And yes, I gave my number to somebody who watches my videos. He's a supporter. He's cool. And again, I don't look at myself as above you guys. Like, yo, we meet and we can kick it get a workout in or something, yo, I'll give you my number, we could chill, and whatnot, like, yo, I ain't nothing special, I'm nothing special, and I was telling him that, too, I was like, yo, I'm just a normal dude who makes videos, you see me in person, like, it's me, man, I'm Simon, so this leads into the topic of the video, okay, which is about YouTubers supposedly kissing their fans' asses, so they could get stuff from them, to get support, get more views, get more subscribers, money, etc., which really doesn't make any sense to me, let me explain. So not only have I been accused of kissing your guys' asses for views and subscriptions and stuff, but I've seen bigger YouTubers all the way up to PewDiePie, who makes millions of dollars a year, being accused of kissing their fans' ass. And people will say I kiss your guys' asses because that's my way of getting and keeping subscribers. Even though I thanked you guys at 40 subs, I thanked you guys at 100 subs, I thanked you guys like at 1,000 subs, 2,000 subs, 2,300 subs, I think even 1,600 subs, 3,000, 4,000, I thank you guys so many times that people think it's just fake. There's some people, a few, a few. It was more, it happened to me more before than now. And that makes me think like, well, if me thanking you guys and showing you guys so much appreciation is kissing your ass, then what is the alternative to that? Is it not showing you guys appreciation, not showing you guys some love, not thanking, thanking you guys? Because if that's the case, then yes, I am kissing your ass. If I'm thanking those who support me so much to the point where I could possibly live my dreams. I'm thanking the people who support me to the 
point where I could live my dreams, bro. My dreams. Obviously, I'm going to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart so many freaking times, especially at a moment like this where I finally see the progress happening. And I guess people find it weird that you, I say that I could actually care for those that I'm never going to meet in person. But you gamers, gamers out there who watch my channels, you guys have experienced this. You guys have met people online that you're never going to meet, never seen their faces before. And you guys have built great relationships with them online because we're just cool people. So that's how this for me on YouTube. So if you guys don't know about this channel, I don't know how you can't. But if you guys don't know about this channel, Grade A Under A, he recently started up something called a Patreon. Now I knew about it from before, but I didn't actually really look into it. But when he started it up, I really looked into it and I could see how it can be beneficial towards me and you guys as supporters. If you remember in my previous video, I mentioned that there were people who actually sent me money through my PayPal without me giving them anything in return. And you guys know how much I hate that for those guys who've been watching me. I do not like accepting free money. I don't like accepting money from people if I can't give them something back in return. Not owe them back the money, but at least give them some type of incentive as a way of saying thank you without just saying thank you. As a matter of fact, I even made a document, okay, I even made a document, a Microsoft Word document listing the people who I'm going to hold back for sending me money. And I made this document April 7th, I think. Look at this. Document is all back one day because these are the people I'm gonna owe back one day. And it was made, look, see, it was made like April 7th, 2015 at 1.30. And soon I'm going to be in the position to be able to do so. So I'm so happy I have all the people who sent me money. I'm going to get back to you guys, okay? I'm going to get back to you guys. I don't even care if you don't want my gift. You are going to accept my gift. And now that we have something called Patreon, I'm going to try to use that. And again, for those of you guys who don't want to use it, it's cool. You can, you can continue supporting me the way you have been already. But for those of you guys, like those of you guys who already sent me money and want to still support financially in that way, now I'm going to open up a Patreon, not now, but soon enough, when I'm actually able to give you guys some type of incentive and I'm going to build that Patreon as much as I can to give you guys as much as I can for helping me financially because in that way I could start doing things in the future possibly even like taking off ads taking like the skippable ads off my videos being able to offer you guys things for for helping me not have to work a nine to five I could be able to do this full time without actually needing that much money probably like a thousand or twelve hundred a month in total if you guys understand how patreon works you guys understand what I'm saying right so when the time comes I'm gonna speak on this again and I hope this could actually be a better way for me to do YouTube more efficiently to give you guys better content and to just keep myself engaged with you guys instead of having to go do a 9 to 5 job okay so yeah I thank you guys so much and if I'm kissing your ass then I'm kissing your ass because you guys are freaking helping my dreams come true it's freaking ridiculous December oh man just wait just wait till you guys see what's coming I just hope it falls through so yeah uh, let me get back to wasting my life away today until I could get these Black Friday sales done okay back to this best buy come on Come on, come on, a few more hours, a few more hours. It's just so obvious and I'm so happy that they, they just, ah, uh, this gave me hope. They gave me hope. I thought they were actually going to